Good morning, Pine School community, and happy holidays. It's wonderful to have a moment to gather in virtual space today as we start honoring some of our winter traditions and celebrate this time in the year that is so very special. For us here at the Pine School, December is about generosity. It's no accident that our character trait of the month in December is just this. We have for many years marked the holiday season with an annual toy drive. And what an amazing tradition this is. We have students among us here in our senior class who have for 13 years or more now participated in this school effort. What an awesome legacy to celebrate and build upon. Even though quite a bit has changed during the school year 2021, I'm proud to say that we are proceeding as planned with holiday cheer and generous gift giving. The Pine School's Toy Drive supports two exceptionally worthy organizations. Native Helping Natives, and also the Martin County Chapter of United Way. Both groups help ho bring holiday cheer to local parents who might otherwise have a difficult time providing gifts for their children. Representatives from both organizations, Natives Helping Natives and United Way of Martin County, will be here on campus later this morning to receive our donation. We begin our holiday celebration today by learning about a few upcoming holidays. The most commonly celebrated winter holidays in our community are Hanukkah and Christmas. We'll hear readings to help us all appreciate the origins of both holidays. At the conclusion of our time together online, I'll be back to give you some instructions about how we'll proceed with donating our toys to the toy drive and also some group singing out on the quad. So happy Hanukkah and Merry Christmas. To get us started with our first reading, we have Simon and Jacob Ross, who will tell us a bit about the history of Hanukkah and also share with us a prayer. Shalom, everyone. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to read a little bit about Hanukkah. Hanukkah is a celebration of a miracle that took place more than 2,000 years ago. A powerful ruler named Antiochus held the Jews prisoner in their own land for three years. Antiochus brought a huge army from Syria to destroy the Jewish religion and to force Jews to worship Greek gods. He took over Jerusalem and ruined the Holy Temple. The Jews fought back, but they were outnumbered and might not have survived if they didn't have Judah Maccabee on their side. Judah Maccabee and his troops finally won back the city of Jerusalem and freed the Jews, but the temple was badly damaged. The Maccabees had to clean it up and make it pure again. They had to relight the special menorah and seven-branched oil lamp that was supposed to remain lit all the time. There was only enough oil left to burn in the menorah for one day, but somehow it lasted eight days, just long enough for a new supply to be made. Finally, on the 25th day of the Hebrew month of Kislev in the year 165 BCE, the temple was rededicated or made holy again. Judah Maccabee declared the day a holiday. The name this holiday would be given is Hanukkah, the Hebrew word for rededication. The eight days of Hanukkah honor the eight days which during the oil burned in the holy lamp. Hanukkah is the celebration of a great miracle not just the miracle of oil lasting for eight days, but also the miracle of Jews surviving an enemy as powerful as Antiochus and every enemy who has followed since. Shalom, my name is Jacob Ross, and I will be reading some prayers that we sing when lighting the menorah. Baruch atah Adonai Elohenu melech haolom asher kedeshanu b'mitzvotah v'tzivanu l'had l'ibner shel Hanukkah. Praised are you, our God, ruler of the universe, who made us holy through your commandments and commanded us to kindle the Hanukkah lights. Baruch Ata Adonai Elohenu Melech Alom Shehekianu Vehikimanu Vehigianu Lazman Hazet. Praise are you, our God, ruler of the universe, who has given us life and sustained us and enabled us to reach this season. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Simon and Jacob, for sharing the story of Hanukkah with us. Uh, for our final reading, we will hear the recounting of the first Christmas from the Gospel of Luke. Christmas is one of the most important religious holidays for Christians, as it is when their Savior, Jesus Christ, was born to the Virgin Mary. Apart from this religious meaning, Christmas also has a significant place in our American culture. It is a time to celebrate generosity and goodwill. From nativity scenes to Christmas trees, from Santa and his reindeer to gift giving, the traditions of Christmas abound. To read for us today is Keziah Anderson. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. 
with census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into, into Judea, into the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and to the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were gratefully afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you, you will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an angel a multitude, a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to the God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Thank you so much for that reading, Keziah. We are proud to, con to continue our annual tradition of donating toys to uh, for the holidays to those less fortunate in our community. Um, we are now going to have some time to bring our gifts into the gym. And again, later on this morning, we'll have representatives from Natives Helping Natives and also United Way of Martin County on hand to pick up our donations. After you drop off your gift, please proceed uh, out to the, the quad area to your designated spot. And Mr. Carlson is gonna be looking forward to leading us in singing the 12 days of Christmas. Happy holidays, best wishes, and enjoy the rest of the day. Take care.